Hey, Mosaic, it's Tony. Man, do I miss you guys. Um, I know we get to see a lot of each other, in essence, online. Um, but uh, I know also how badly we just miss being together. And what I wanted to do is take a moment and just address some of the stuff going on and coming up and um, hopefully give us a little bit of a vision for the future. One of the things I want to make sure you do know is, first and foremost, how much we miss you. We love you as a staff, as shepherds. We're praying for you regularly. Uh, and it's been a joy to actually be able to connect with many of you online through the various things we've been doing. Um, one, of, one of the things I wanted to do today was I wanted to make sure that um, I reminded us, all of us, as to why we are where we are in regard to, as a church right now in terms of meeting. You know, we, um, we uh, th at the beginning of this COVID-19 um, cultural shift, uh, we chose to... Um, to uh, comply with the governor's um, request, or not even request, but uh, gentle suggestion that, that churches uh, take into consideration the importance of social distancing and not having mass gatherings. And we felt like out of love for, um, certainly out of love for our neighbor, love for one another, um, and to honor, um, honor God in his... Uh, um, his admonition to us to uh, honor the authorities that he's placed over us, we chose to um, forego meeting for the time being. As this has progressed, um, you know, we continue to watch the news and try to um, try to ride the wave in terms of what's happening and and, um, and monitoring very closely what's happening at the state level and at the uh, federal level. And as we look forward, I want to just communicate that, uh, you know, we continue to desire to love on you, to pray for you, to uh, love our neighbor and be careful with how we, uh, how we all conduct ourselves and in respect and consideration. Um, but also, I want you to know that we're looking forward to what might be in the future. You know, as the state government in particular begins to uh, assess what's currently going on and some of the changes that, uh, um, some of the changes that are occurring, uh, we're beginning to look at what we might do creatively in the future to meet. When can we begin to gather again? And um, so we're looking at different creative ways to do that, whether it's multiple services, whether it's finding um, you know, outdoor services. Um, can, obviously, we're in the meantime, we'll continue to meet online. But there are a number of things we're looking at to be able to take advantage of that moment when the state says to many groups that not just churches, but many groups that meet in large gatherings, when they believe it will be safe and um, and uh, appropriate to begin meeting, and so uh, I just uh, we really want to relay that to you that this is not anything we're um, we're not taking into consideration, but looking forward with you to moving forward and and and, uh, and working with everyone necessary to uh, to bring us back together, to be able to worship together, pray together, fellowship together, and spend some time. Uh, in the meantime. Uh, I have crafted, uh, the directors and I and some of the staff have crafted a letter to you to encourage you and to remind you of some of the things that are currently going on. And again, to give us all hope and, and prayer items to, as we look forward. And so a um, couple of things that I want to make sure that, um, that we're paying attention to is uh, that our services will continue to be online until, uh, until things do begin to open up. Uh, those are on Sunday morning that there are a number of things going on in the evenings, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings. Uh, different staff members are hosting different, uh, different connection points and studies. Uh, small groups are being encouraged to continue to meet together in some way, and whether that be online or, or uh, whatever would be appropriate um, according to their, their discretion. Um, we've been doing some morning uh, devos, and um, one of the things I want us to know, too, is that our community meals and, and Matthew 25 ministries are still going on. There are many people that are still struggling in regard to uh, uh, in regard to meals, in regard to food, and uh, those are ministries that continue to be to continue to go forward. Um, the, um, the one of the things that I want to be able to encourage you to do in the meantime, from a personal standpoint, is this: we want to encourage all of us to be seeking after Jesus in all of this, to um, to look to Him, to abide with Him. Uh, spending time with him in prayer and word. Um, we would love to uh, uh, encourage you to encourage one another um, that uh, connections be made um, in the various and sundry ways that are available to us. 
uh, that we use that time to encourage, to uplift, to console, to pray with, to laugh and to cry together um, where it would be appropriate. I would also call us all to be peacemakers. You know, the idea that what we want to be able to do is um, be at peace with God, recognizing that He is sovereign. He's in control of everything. He knows what's going on. He has a purpose and a plan in all of this. And then to encourage one another with that and to make sure that we're reminding one another of, uh, of God's incredible love and His care um, and His graces toward us. And then um, the, the next thing I would encourage us all to be doing is persistently praying. And there are lots of things we can be praying for. You know, Obviously praying that all of this would end. It would just be dumped. We would pray that uh, whatever, um, whatever uh, mechanisms for healing and, and therapy would, would, um, would be able to be discovered and, and uh, would bring a sense of health and uh, healing to the community. Praying for all of our first responders and the people that are kind of on the front lines, that they would be protected, that they would, their hearts and minds would be protected, their bodies would be protected, their families uh, would be uh, would be comforted as uh, as their family members are putting themselves out there. For parents who have children at home and they're homeschooling, and that they would um, they would <laughs> they would find a sense of humor, that they would have strength and stamina, wisdom. And the kids, that, they, that their hearts would be inclined to learning and to respecting their parents and to accomplishing what needs to be done. Um, I'd also pray for our leaders at the, at, the, at the governmental level, both federal and state and even local, that we would, we would pray for their wisdom. The responsibility they hold in this time is, is immense. I can't imagine the weight that they're carrying. We need to be praying for their safety, for their wisdom, for their willingness to, to listen to God. Um, that uh, God's Spirit may work in and with them, and then for church leaders in the community. Um, I, for one, can tell you, as, you know, as, uh, as uh, one of the guys here, we miss our people terribly, and these are incredibly difficult decisions to make. Uh, we're chomping at the bit maybe even more than you are in terms of wanting to be together and to see you. Uh, so pray for us uh, that we would shepherd you well and love you well and pray for you and and our families w- would would also um, not feel the weight of the responsibility. Then pray for each other. Pray for the body of Mosaic and for other churches in the community that they would remain knit closely. That the that the Spirit of God would move among them. That their pastors would be would be refreshed and and have wisdom as to how to lead. Um, yeah, and that the gospel would go forward that this would not be a wasted time, but in fact, whatever it is that God's using this time for, uh, we know that it's for his honor and glory, but also for the extension of his kingdom, that more and more people would hear about the mercy, the grace, and the love of Jesus. So thank you so much for just your wonderful patience. We know you're praying for us. I I hope you know that we're praying for you, and we cannot wait to be together. Take care.